The Unseen Menaces Thrips may be extremely small, but a large population of these pests can pose a danger to any plant. Thrips, both larval and adult, will feed off targeted plant tissue. Large enough infestations can see entire leaves dead or whole plants stunted. So in this video, we'll show you how to identify and stop thrips from infesting your property so your plants can thrive without any worries. You can save on pest control with DIY products and do it fast with free same-day shipping from Solutions Pest and Lawn. To shop for the products featured in this video and to learn more about thrip control, click the icon in the top right of the screen or click the link in the description below. The first thing you should do in any pest control plan is identify what exactly you're dealing with. Careless identification can lead to wrong treatment methods, costing you time and money. Thrips are tiny insects, with most pest species growing up to 1 20th of an inch, or close to 1 millimeter in length. Magnification is often needed to look at thrips in closer detail. There are some thrips that are known to grow up to 5 millimeters, however. When seen up close, most adult thrips will have narrow and frayed wings, although there are some that lack these. Body colors and patterns will vary depending on species, but colors typically include yellow, brown, black, white, or translucent. Larvae are typically a pale green. Inspection is the next phase of any good pest control plan. Once you know what your pests look like, check around your property to confirm their presence or find hotspots of activity. If you suspect thrip activity, check your indoor and outdoor plants closely for signs of damage. Look for lighter, silvery, or bleached spots on the affected plant. These spots are often accompanied by several black markings where the thrips have left their droppings. You may also be able to see mature thrips or their larvae depending on the size of the pests and the contrast of their body color against the plant. Different species of thrips will target specific plant parts. Some attack leaves, some target flower pollen, and there are also others that target the fruiting bodies of fruit-bearing plants. Better yet, there are even beneficial thrips that feed on smaller plant-infesting pests like scales, white flies, or even other thrips. Please keep in mind that the rest of this video will focus on leaf-infesting thrips, as the insecticides we recommend should not be used on plants meant for consumption. We also recommend that if you found beneficial thrips, you should keep or otherwise relocate them. If you found one plant infested with pest thrips, be sure to check all nearby plants to confirm the spread of the infestation. Be careful when inspecting for thrips, as they can bite humans and cause irritation. After identifying your pest and inspecting for activity on your property, it's time to start treatment. Before starting any treatment, be sure to wear your personal protective equipment or PPE and remember to keep all people and pets off the treated areas until dry. Depending on the infested plant, you may want your first step in treatment to be physical removal. Different options include using cotton swabs dipped in alcohol, just remove individual thrips and larvae with those, or if your plant is hardy enough, you can bring it into the bathtub and you can rinse the thrips off. Just be careful not to oversaturate your plant's roots with too much water. Be aware that physical removal may need to be repeated once every several days. To get rid of thrips from your garden or houseplants, you'll need to use an insecticide that's labeled to control thrips. Since both adult and juvenile thrips feed on plant leaves, it makes sense to use an insecticide like Dominion 2L. Dominion 2L is a systemic insecticide that when applied properly at the labeled rate of 1.5 fluid ounces per 100 gallons of water, it will be absorbed into the plant and will kill labeled pests that feed on the plant's roots or leaves. However, keep in mind that Dominion 2L is only labeled for the suppression of thrips, so it may not treat an infestation entirely. Instead, we recommend you use Reclaim IT. Reclaim IT is a bifenthrin-based insecticide concentrate that is labeled to control over 70 different pests, including thrips. You'll make a foliar application to affected plants at a rate of 0.25 to 0.5 fluid ounces of product per 1,000 square feet of treatment area. Mix one gallon of solution for every 1,000 square feet. We recommend you use a handheld pump sprayer since you'll be spraying smaller areas and broadcasting the solution over your garden. To mix Reclaim IT, fill your pump sprayer with half a gallon of water and add your measured amount of product. Add the rest of the water up to the one gallon line. Close the sprayer and shake to ensure an even distribution. Pump the sprayer a few times to produce a low pressure spray. With a low pressure fan setting, spray plants until they become coated with solution, but before the product starts to drip off. You may need to move any house plants outdoors before you spray them. Proceed to treat ornamentals that may have experienced infestation. Be sure to treat the undersides of plants as well. Once all plants have been treated, allow the product to dry completely. 
When properly applied, Reclaim IT will leave a long-lasting chemical barrier that will control treated areas for up to 90 days. Labeled pests, including thrips, that come into contact with the barrier will die soon after. Remember that Reclaim IT should not be sprayed onto plants meant for consumption as food. Prevention is essential to keeping pests in check. Even after you've applied pesticides, the best way to stop thrip activity is to make sure it can't happen. To prevent damage from thrips, it's best to be diligent in monitoring your plants, checking for activity, and treating your plants when necessary. Note the health of your plants, and when something doesn't seem right, address the problem as soon as possible. If leaves have become too wilted from pest activity, it may be best to prune away the affected foliage. This not only reduces harboring sites, but it will also prevent disease from possibly spreading. If you're physically removing thrips from your plants, remember to repeat the process once every few days until all activity has ceased. Finally, be sure to make follow-up treatments of Reclaim IT every three months for year-round control. Thrips are tiny pests that can suck the life out of your plants, but there are ways to control an infestation that's gone out of hand. With these professional products and tips from Solutions Pest and Lawn, you can stop thrips from infesting your plants, and we offer same-day shipping to help you get control quickly. Visit our website to get your products today. If you like this how-to guide, please share. And if you're new to our channel, subscribe for more how-to and product videos, and contact us for more tips, tricks, and DIY pest solutions.